Hi guys, so another career video. We lost a, uh, there's a, a good football player this this week uh, that died, passed away. So Frank, Frank Doc Harris, this is the career I'm going to be doing. He was a uh, first round 13 overall pick uh, in 1972 NFL draft from the Pittsburgh. And uh, he had an amazing career, I think uh, one of the best. So let's get into it. Uh, let's talk about their season maybe before and then the playoff, I believe. But we can do that, yeah. So 1972, he was he had 1,055 yards, 10 touchdowns, a Pro Bowl in the playoff, 140 yards, zero touchdown. Um, 1973, um, 698 yards, three touchdowns, Pro Bowler. In the playoff, 29 yards, zero touchdown. Right now, he's just arriving. He's not there yet. But he will very soon. 1974, 1,006 yards, five touchdown. And a pro bowler in the playoff, um, 314 yards, two touchdown. And he is a champion, Super Bowl champion. Um, and he also wins the Super Bowl uh, MVP. So he does everything that year. 1975, he follows it with uh, 1,246 yards, 10 touchdown. He's a pro bowler. Uh, in the playoff, 314 yards, two touchdown, and he's a champion again, back-to-back -back champion. 1976, uh, 1,128 yards, 14 touchdown. He's a pro bowler again. Uh, most of his career is a pro bowler. Uh, in the playoff, 132 yards, no touchdown, and they don't win the championship. 1977, uh, 1,162 yards, 11 touchdown. A pro bowler, first team all pro. He's having a great year. Um, 11 touchdown is almost his best year. Um, in the playoff, 92 yards, one touchdown. They don't do very well that year in the playoff. 1978, 1,082 yards, 8 touchdowns, and he's a pro bowler. In the playoff, 224 yards, 4 touchdowns, and he's a champion again. Um, 1979, 1,086 yards, 11 touchdowns, um, pro bowler. Uh, I think that that's his best year. No, that's not his best year. So pro bowler uh, in the playoff... 214 yards, three touchdowns, and he's a champion again. So has four championships. Uh, in 1980, he, he has 789 yards, four touchdowns. He's a pro bowler, doesn't go in the playoff. 1981, uh, 987 yards, eight touchdowns, doesn't go in the playoff again. No pro bowler. Uh, 1982, uh, 604 yards, two touchdown in the playoff, 35 yards, zero touchdown. 1983, his last year as a Pittsburgh Steeler, uh, 1,007 yards, five touchdown. Um, in the playoff, his last year in the playoff, 33 yards, zero touchdown. And he gets released from the Pittsburgh. I didn't think he should get released with 1,000 yards of rushing, but that's just me. Gets released uh, by Pittsburgh in 1984, and release and the Seattle uh, Seahawks um, signs him. So Seattle um, in 1994, he doesn't click with this team. Doesn't it? Doesn't it's not a big good fit. So 170 yards, zero touchdown, and uh, that that is, that is the end of his year, uh, his career. So in total. He has 12,120 yards, that is 15th overall. He has 91 touchdowns, that is 11th overall. He receives 2,281 yards and 9 touchdowns over all these touchdowns. So he has he has 100 touchdowns in career. So that is very good. Playoff, uh, playoff total, uh, 1,556 yards and 16 touchdowns. He is 1972 NFL Rookie of the Year. He has four-time Super Bowl champion. He has nine-time Pro Bowler. 1974 Super Bowl MVP. Uh, 1976 Walter Payton Man of the Year. 
He has a Pro Football Hall of Fame, uh, second team, all 1970s team. He has one-time first team All-Pro, 1981 NFLPA Allen Page Community Award. He was good with his community. And 1990 Hall of Fame. So really good uh, career for Franco Harris. Uh, sadly passed away lately. Um, lately. And um, I think he, uh, he had a great career. One of the best career of rushing. One of the best rushers in the history of this game. And yeah, so uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. See you guys.